many, 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 many beginning content creators ask this particular question. They'll go into live streams of popular streamers. They'll go onto YouTube comments of big streamers and ask this very particular question. And you've seen it and you've probably asked it. And that question is, how do I make good content? And pretty much all of you are not going to expect the answer that I'm going to give you because it's not the answer that you're actually looking for. But we'll get into that in a minute. But first of all, I'll just quickly explain the process of this video and how we're going to go about it. The idea of most content creation is to get people to either your live stream or your YouTube videos. We'll just use those two because that's what I'm trying to do. And that's what I'm sort of focused on as a content creator at this particular time. So I will show you how to, I won't show you actually, I'll tell you how I'm doing it and the tips and all the bits and pieces I've learned in the last 12 months of content creation and how I go about this type of stuff as well. So I do hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday from 9pm BST. Link is down below and also join the Discord as well. It's full of fun people. We're starting off small. It's getting a little bit bigger, but please come and join us and have some fun. And if you see Coco in there, spam some tea bags because she's salty, man, and she loves it. To make good content, you literally have to make bad content first. I know that wasn't really the answer you were looking for. You were just expecting me to give you some magical advice of like, do this, do it this way, do it that way. And lo and behold, you've got the best content in the world. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And that is not how this type of thing works. You might spend the next 12 months just making videos, posting up to YouTube and just seeing the progression of yourself through the making of those videos. And the idea is you've got to make the next video that you do better than the one previous and the next one better than the previous one that you thought was better than the previous one and so on and so forth. And that is literally what you've got to do. Plain, pure and simple. Focus on your content, cram as much value in there as you can for your viewers to soak up like sponges because that's what we go to YouTube for and give it away for free and learn the processes of making content as you go along and i promise you you will get better and better and better each time you make a video as long as you concentrate and try and make better videos as you go along and what we'll do i'll talk to you about how i go about thinking about content what i think content creation is and how we push viewers or potential viewers to your main source of content whether it be on youtube whether it's on facebook whether you're doing blogs whether you're doing podcasts whether that be just audio podcasts or video podcasts so first of all i see content creation in two ways you've got your long form content or your pillar content which for this instance we'll say is going to be youtube videos blogs or podcasts whether that be audio or video podcasts right so this is going to be your main source of content. We've also got as well, what we call short form content. This is the small snippets of information that you can post on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, any other bits of social media that you see and use, get it all on there and that create a following and then create links to your YouTube videos or your blog pages or your podcasts whatever it may be. But how do you create the short form content and how do you get the long form content? Because I know that's the question you're asking right there. So what I do after I've created my YouTube video is I find interesting bits in the video. They're about 30 seconds long or one minute long, something like that. And I then post those to Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And what I found with TikTok and Instagram mainly is when I'm editing, I put captions on the bottom so whatever's going on in the background whether my teammates are speaking whether i'm speaking it's a bit like subtitles those subtitles are in a nice bold font in a really nice font different colors so one of the teammates might be yellow i'm generally blue because that's just sort of like the color theme i've got in the channel on my live streams and all that type of stuff and those seem to do really well because you're drawing more audience especially any hard of hearing 
audience that you might get or you might see and they can then enjoy the videos as well because then they understand you know what's being said and what's going on that's one of the keys of content creation try and make it different to you know what other people are doing don't just get your gameplay clip off twitch or whatever and just post it and expect it to do well we're not quite big enough yet and i know there are exceptions to the rule but we are we're trying to make it appealing as much as possible try and show that we're professional in what we're doing and that's one of the keys as well try and show that you're professional and it just shows people when you come and watch the content i'm making it's done really well and we're trying to be as professional as possible and then in the descriptions that i've got on all those social medias it will have a nice little tagline of what's going on in the video and then i'll have the youtube links or my stream links in there so then people can go and view the particular video so then you can see how the short form content is then leading back to the youtube videos you know a 15 minute youtube video i might be able to get four or five very good short form bits of content that i can use on social media on my TikToks, on my twitter on my instagram and drive that through into the videos and my live streams i also record my live streams every live stream i do i record it i mark down any really really nice highlight parts of the stream whether it be funny moments whether it be silly plays that i've done whether i've made mistakes and just laughing at myself anything like that is all good content for you guys on a three hour stream i can probably get 15 20 30 pieces of small bits of nice content that helps drive everybody to my live stream and the same with youtube videos 15 minute video i might get three or four nice informational snippets of real good value for those who are watching and then push them back into my youtube video so you get what i'm doing i'm not making myself loads of work i'm not trying to create you know 40 bits of content a week i'm literally making a youtube video and i'm making uh, and i'm doing a live stream and i'm using all the bits of content that are in those bits taking the clips that are really good and valuable putting those out on to instagram twitch uh, twitch instagram twitter and you know facebook wherever it is and then leading people back to the big 15 minute video or getting people into my three hour four hour streams quality of producing content is always a big thing you know youtube's quality of video production is generally quite high and then most all the bits of social media are a little bit lower and twitch and like live streaming is quite low as well because you're limited into the resolutions and stuff that you can get and sort of deal with and i do hear it a lot all the time is i've done this video but i don't like it the quality is not great should i post it my answer to that is yes post it because you might be a bit blurry or the audio might not be great but if the content in there is valuable and people are going to enjoy it and you're really enjoying it and you're enthusiastic about the things that you're talking about and you're passionate about it people are going to view it people are going to like it people are going to want to watch it if you're again passionate about what you're talking about there's always somebody that is interested in what you are talking about that's the beauty of the internet i do have to say so I do hope you take the plunge if you haven't made a video yet or you're thinking about making a video yet but worried about how it's received. Sit down. In fact, don't watch the end of this video. Go and start making your content. That's what I want you to do. Go and make your content right now. Create a YouTube channel. Link me in it down below. Let me see what you guys are making because at the end of the day, I love watching content no matter what it is. And I want to see you guys making your own content try and post as many bits of different pieces of valuable content as you can each day at least three that's that's the thing i'm going to go on you know on your twitter instagram on all those bits and pieces try and post at least three videos a day more if you can so what we'll do we'll just have a quick recap of this video just so you guys haven't forgotten anything so we don't forget you got your long form content which is stuff that's going on youtube on podcasts and on blogs that's your main source of content and that's where you want to get people to come and view your main source of content you've got your short form content that supports your main pillar content take those 
clips of the most valuable bits or very, very good strong points. Use those in clips, do creative things in some video editing software just to make it look more appealing. Post that on your social media when you release your YouTube videos and all that type of stuff and get people looking at your content online. Drive them towards your YouTube videos and your streams. If you're streaming, if you can, record your streams onto your PC. Go back through those, look at your VODs and whatever else. Make some timestamps as you're streaming. Cut those clips up of your best plays or your funny moments or whatever it is that happens. And then edit that in creative ways again and get it out onto your social media and push people and drive people towards your streams as well. Don't worry about the quality of the videos as well. Do the best that you can and get it out. Get people seeing your content, get people knowing who you are. That's the main thing. Get talking to people on Twitter, get talking to people on Instagram, answer every comment that you get. Answer everybody, make, pe make sure people know you're approachable, you're a good person and you know, you appreciate them as much as they appreciate your bits of content. And I think that's it guys. I think we sort of covered everything I think I wanted to in this, in this video. As I say, don't forget I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. Come join the Discord, all the links are down below. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube and all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll have some bigger and better content as I get better at this. We'll do another video maybe discussing my journey in this wonderful, wonderful world of content creation that I'm in. And if you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks very much and I'll see you again. Bye bye for now.